<laughs> Dejuice these yams. Okay. Oh. Why are you pouring out my chicken oh. broth? Are you trying to sabotage me? <laughs> what is that? It looks like a slug. <laughs> to go with it? It's it? not like chicken We are on a mission to find out if we can cook Thanksgiving dinner on a budget by shopping at the Dollar Tree. Are you guys ready? Are you it's ready? So cold. John, can we do this? <laughs> listen, listen. He does not know. Shh. Listen to my ASMR. I don't like ASMR. All right, let me try some different. Wait, here's some ASMR. There's a lot of people that do like that. ASMR. It's a very popular thing. Okay, that's enough. Rory and I are on team turkey. Yes. <laughs> or I should say like team, team main dish, right? We're gonna try to pull off a turkey at the Dollar Tree. We could take yeah. this potted meat and like form it into the shape of a turkey and then slice it up. What do you think? Or we could like- Is that too lame? If we can find peas and vegetables, yeah. we can mush it up and cook it like how you would do the vegetables and stir it. And this could be the meat in it. Oh, sounds delish. <laughs> All right, me and Ada found this cherry filling or topping. Mm -hmm. And we are looking for like a little pie. Like a graham cracker pie crust. Like a little graham pa cracker pie crust. Graham cracker pie crust. Graham cracker pie crust. To put this in and hopefully that it'll be yummy. But we can't find the pie crust, so we might have to go to plan B. Which we don't know what that is yet. I'm in charge of sides, and when I think of Thanksgiving sides, I think of green bean casserole. I typically think of mashed potatoes, and then I also think about, what's another good Thanksgiving dish? Uh, mac and cheese. Macaroni and cheese is always a good hit for Thanksgiving. And I'm trying to do the green bean casserole, my issue is, is I'm not finding any cream of mushroom, so I don't know. Rory and I could not find a turkey. However, Rory, come show them this beautiful chicken breast. I mean, it's still a bird. I think it's still gonna count. Oh, we need to make stuffing. Yes, stuffing. Okay, We're them. gonna have some beautiful vegetables to go and with it. <laughs> it's only a dollar. It's only cost a dollar. So I bought two of them. <laughs> for a presentation, of course, but yeah. And I got some frozen vegetables to go with it. Um, and then of course we have to do stuffing. I almost forgot about that. Is stuffing considered the side though? I feel like it kind of goes with the turkey. I should be in charge of it. I'm also gonna get this beautiful bacon to go into my stuffing. It's gonna add so much flavor. Um, and then I found some frozen onions, celery, all that good stuff. I think we're gonna be able to come up with a really good Thanksgiving feast from the Dollar Tree. Okay, me and Ada found our plant beast, so we cannot find the pie crust, so we were taking these little like cracker it, cranberry They're basically orange. like graham crackers but almost. Flavored. Yeah, and then we're gonna do it with like, we're gonna find a liquid to mix it with to make a pie crust. To crush it up, and then we're right. gonna smush and it. And then we're gonna put our cherries, and then we got this as like a topping, and we're, we have a little blow torch, and we're gonna like mm. flambe it up. <laughs> you wanna eat that, huh? <laughs> So the first thing that I found so far for my sides is I got this awesome turkey gravy, which is gonna go great with some, you know what I'm talking about, some mashed potatoes. Hello again. Vanilla wafers, and we're gonna um, use the vanilla wafers and stack. Kind of like this. So we're gonna do a layer of vanilla wafers. Cherries. Layer then of marshmallow fluff. Yes. And we're just and gonna keep going. Keep going. Go, go. It'll be like, good. That's gonna be so good. It'll be good. Part of the challenge is also making this dinner as fast as we can and for as little money as we can. I found some mac and cheese. We're gonna cook this up for my side. So, so far I got mac and cheese, mashed potatoes and gravies, and I got one more side that I'm gonna show you next. So I found these yams in this sweet light syrup. I'm gonna get two cans of this. See, I like the fact that it's light syrup and I'm gonna make them candied. So basically I need to find marshmallows. Oh, and look at this, they have a pumpkin pie spice. I bet you that would be great on top of the candied yams. It's a dollar 25 tree, you know, you have to improvise sometimes and they didn't have exactly stuffing, but I think some seasoned croutons, it's the same exact thing. I mean, what is stuffing anyways? Hard little nuggets of bread. Now I'm ready to get home and cook because I can bet any of you watching a million dollars easily, and no, I don't have it in the bank, but I'm about to bet it, that I will make 
the most gourmet looking dish out of the family. And if anyone disagrees, um, you're gonna lose this bet. You have a really, was well, it a secret? We can know. Should I oh, tell her? No, we want it to be a surprise. Aiden wants so it to good. be a surprise, but I want to tell you. Why do you want it to be a surprise? Because it's I, so good. I'm going to watch you cook Aiden, it. Let's just tell her. Okay. Okay. So we got a little pie dish, and we're going to do layers of vanilla wafers, cranberry, and marshmallow fluff. Ooh, oh, so you did like your own creation. Yeah. Look at this cute little pie dish. I like it. Oh, for a dollar. Wait, yeah. $1. 25 now? I know, girl. Things are getting expensive. <laughs> all in all, our Thanksgiving feast with a main course, multiple sides, and dessert. An original dessert at that. Only cost us $35. At the dollar, 25 tree. We're crossing. We're going. Welcome back to the Smelly Belly Kitchen, baby! It's getting lit in here! Don't get hot! You can't stand the heat! Get out the kitchen! Oh, we're scaring you, baby. I'm getting my mac and cheese on first. This is the deluxe mac and cheese. I've never had it before, but it kind of looks like it's like the Velveeta kind. Excuse me, uh, make room for the professional, please. Uh, thank you, Whoa. you're my station. Oh, you can have your station. <laughs> that was so funny. Uh, it made yeah. me want to laugh. Over here in the dessert station. We got the cookies laid down, and now we're doing the fluffing. Okay, pro tip. Try putting that in the microwave and seeing if it'll pour out. You think that'll work? You're a genius. Or will it explode? Let's find out. Next up, we got to preheat the oven. Does anybody else think the oven preheated? Okay, then I'll do whatever temperature. I feel like I'm going 375 on this bad boy. Next up, I'm gonna be opening these candy, or no, candy. candy yams. They're just <clears throat> yams, but they're gonna get candied soon. While my chicken is defrosting, just a bit for it to defrost, I'm gonna start on my stuffing. And I found, where is it? My beautiful bacon. Where is my beautiful bacon? I think this is really gonna elevate the dish. I'm gonna take it from you know, Dollar Tree to bougie. Next up, we're gonna de-juice this. <laughs> de-juice these yams, okay. Oh. Why are you pouring out my chicken oh. broth? Are you trying to sabotage me? <laughs> that was an accident. You just poured out all of my chicken broth for my Ooh. stuffing. Oh no. Okay, well, luckily we have this exact same brand in the pantry. I was like, there's no yams in this one. <laughs> I'm really crying inside, actually. Thanks for ruining my ASMR of my beautiful bacon. Sorry. I got my my yams in here. They're not candied yet. And then here I got a cinnamon and sugar. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there. Mm. I've never actually made candied yams before, so I'm kind of just guessing what I'm doing right now. Um, I also got this pumpkin spice. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there as mm. well. Mm. Something smells funny, and I think it's this this over here. Funny? And that's about to boil over. You mean my beautiful bacon? Yeah, it smells delicious and nutritious. Your bacon smells funny. Real funny. I'm gonna go ahead and coat this with lots of marshmallows because everybody loves marshmallows, right? For the most part. I, I know. So we're gonna get lots on of the candy oh, cam. So you gotta have it. It's a lot Let me help you out. Let's go ahead and move this on into the preheated oven. Yeah. Bye bye. Next up, I'm working on my mashed potatoes, and all we need for that is two cups of boiled water. Let's go ahead and scorch this bad boy. I need my chicken stock replacement, please. One second. See, I got the exact same stuff. There you go. Thank you. Mac and cheese is coming along good. Noodles are starting to get soft. I don't think I added enough water, but that's my bad. So next up to elevate the dish, I found the seasoning blend, which has onion, celery, red and green bell pepper, and parsley. And there's like enough for multiple dishes in this bag. So we're gonna throw that in our bacon grease and then into our stuffing. Here's a peek at my candied yams. I'd say that's coming out almost perfect. I'm gonna let it go for a few more minutes. Let's go. We got the mashed potatoes, so this is pretty simple. The hot water is going in, and then all I gotta do is open my Idaho potatoes, which by the way, I love these kind of potatoes. They're his favorite. They're really like- He be eating them. They're, he be eating. they're my favorite. Just go Wouldn't ahead and mix that in. Wouldn't you wanna do potatoes and water? 
Or I guess you're the professional here, sorry. Wait, potatoes and water? This is potatoes. No, potatoes first, then water, but I guess it makes fun. No, no, fun, no, no. So. You well, put let's watch the magic. Let's watch the magic Can happen. I? Don't with your hand. Yeah, you want to make no, like, yeah. spoon? Yeah, go ahead. Let's watch the magic happen. Slow it down, cowgirl. In there, it's thick mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. This is how the professionals mix. That's yeah. how the pros do it. And I like mine a little thicker, to tell you the truth. So that's kind of the way they recommend it, actually. You gonna put a little butter in that or what? Oh yeah, we're gonna put a little bit of butter mm -hmm. and then we're gonna top it with gravy. Mm. How's everything right, going so with you? Bacon is going back into the veggies. Ooh. Then this will go in here with our stock in the oven. And while that's going, we're gonna do our protein. Our I will protein. say, this looks like, I could put this in an omelet and it'd be delicious. It would be delicious. This looks good, girl. Our noodles are done for our macaroni. Sorry about the mess, guys. We're all cooking a lot. Yeah, we're, we're all, all cooking up in here. Strain those noodles out. Well, you guys know how to make mac and cheese. Back into the pan. The oh, box. make it a mess. Don't let Tara know about that. Oh my goodness. Ooh, girl, looks good over there. So I would say so far that from my judgment, looking at everything, that you can make a Thanksgiving dinner from the Dollar Tree. This is what you get from the Dollar Tree. It looks like the chicken's uh, leg. <laughs> mm. What? Uh, it looks like a slug. <laughs> Say this mac and cheese is looking good, sir. Yep, we're almost ready to plate it. You gonna add butter to that? No, we're, we we can't break too much out of the Dollar Tree. You know, we didn't buy any butter there. We should have. Yeah, we should have. Yams. Yeah, oh, good. they're ready to be taken out. I gotcha. Okay, so now you could add an egg to this if your Dollar Tree has eggs. Sometimes mine does and sometimes they don't, so. So what are you putting in there, hot broth? Yep, hot broth, and then we're gonna toss it all together and let it finish up in the oven. And she just put her chicken on, it's looking nice and seasoned. Mm. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Thanksgiving Dollar Tree Store Feast. One question, why is the dessert the biggest thing on the table? <laughs> because we like our sweets around here. Oh my gosh. Before we move on, ASMR with Jayla. Works all around. We have to taste test our work, yes. guys. I'm Don't very proud of us. I'm very proud of us. I have dollar Thanksgiving feast. Dig Where, in. Where'd your turkey go? Oh. By the way, I already tried this stuff. Look at this. And I would say so that good. I would make stuff like this. Anything, yeah. It's the croutons that Tara bought. Yeah, it was seasoned croutons. I would make stuff in my And then I crushed them up a little bit before I. All right. There's a little Memphis hair. <laughs> All right. Let's try the Let's chicken. Let's try the chicken. Try the stuffing. <laughs> Jeez, Ada just took the whole piece. Just take a bite, Ada. Just go in. Just go in. Ada, it's going to be good. I cooked it and I seasoned it. Oh, I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat it. <laughs> the chicken's good. Chicken's good. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Oh, delicious. Mm. What you about this? Make it like this more often. <laughs> it's it's really seasoned good. really great. All right, I can season it again like that. Yeah. yeah. Seasoned potatoes. Mm. Let's try them. Let's try them. Oh, I, I eat these on the list. Very good. I will tell you, I tried the gravy. <laughs> Not I a fan. I would buy it in the jar again. I would do the seasoning packet. Potatoes. I agree. Definitely get that. The yams, Ooh. I mean, they look pretty professional. What, the gravy? <laughs> <laughs> So we warned you. You were warned. I tried it just to be fair. You were warned. What about the mac and cheese? I see no I, one has touched it. I've already tried the mac and oh. cheese. It's good. What about our dessert? What about our dessert? I'm actually allergic to yams, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on, guys. All right, we're going to dig into this trifle. Hold the bowl. <clears throat> I call it a parfait. Mom calls it a trifle. I mean, it could have set a little longer, but we're just going to go for it because we, you know. But by tomorrow, this baby is going to be... Perfect. Mm. Looks good to me. I'm gonna Dig in, guys. It. Look out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get it with the wafer, cause. Oh yeah, you have to. It didn't quite get a cherry. Have time to get you know Soft. soggy. So here we go. You just gotta get on. It's gonna be crunchy. It will soften up as it sits. <laughs> I told you we should have got milk to soften them. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> milk would have been a good idea, or heavy cream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I like the marshmallow fluff edition. Well, we all know Jesse showed up with his appetite today. Yeah. I'm really hungry. <laughs> and we have real dinner waiting for after this. Right? <laughs> Pretty good. Would oh. you make it again? But like maybe a fancier version. 
like a homemade cherry compote with some homemade marshmallow. I didn't even get to try it yet. Give me the plate. What is wrong with you? What's <laughs> happening here? What is, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. She's making weird, really weird faces. <laughs> I just wanted to let everyone see me reacting to Jayla eating her dessert. How is it? Good? So Looks good. It's sour? sour? It needs sugar? No, it's the cherries. It needs different ingredients. <laughs> okay, the, the dessert was a fail, but I mean, that's what happens when you leave noobs in charge. I like yeah. the dessert, it's but not. I don't eat very many sweet things anymore, so. No, it's not horrible. It's just like I would rather. It needs to sit longer so this cookie soften. If it sat longer, it'd be really okay. Yeah. It's just not much. <laughs> We've been talking about this dessert for some girl. Get your dogs off the table, girl. Get your corn dogs down. Get them down. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. And remember to eat your pickles, kids. We're traveling this week. Stay tuned. We will be vlogging it. Stuck in the middle.